Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of The Legend Heroes Trails of Sky Second Chapter, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. In the last episode, we started the second chapter of Second Chapter, and uh, we went on a big investigation in the hotel for uh, an assault case that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But uh, in the end, everything worked out. Today, we're going to learn all about gambling. Let's say the first floor, the first floor. You learn all about gambling. Hello. Um, may we have a moment? You wouldn't happen to be Lakeisha, would you? Oh, I'm Lake. Oh, are you the bracers? Yeah, we saw the posting. Good. You know a bit of a, what's going on, at least. Are you all set? I'd like you to go over the details. Sure. Yeah, of course it's okay. Well, what can we do for you? What I'd like for you, uh, what I'd like to ask of you is very simple. Do something, anything, to make my husband lose at gambling. A what? That's your request? Winning a game of chance is a most intriguing request. You heard me right. I don't care what game. Just please win against my husband. He's always been the uh, type to get wrapped up in whatever it is he's doing, so that he doesn't know when to stop. I mean, really, he gets a few wins at the casino and suddenly he's convinced he's a pro gambler. All I know is that one track mind of his, if he says he wants to turn pro, anything I say is one year in out the other. So I'd like you to nip this in the bud before things go that far. I see. Family circumstances, huh? Sounds like things are hard for you. No, I was naive. I should have refused when he suggested a casino trip. <sighs> no point in complaining now. Here, let me give you a thousand years of wager. If you wager all this on one bed, I'm sure my husband will take you up. I sure hope so. Is your husband upstairs at the casino right now? Yes, he's made himself nice and comfortable up there. Last I saw he was playing cards. Uh, Felio's his name. Uh, understand. We'll check the card tables. Do me a favor and don't hold back. Make sure he loses decisively. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any questions? We're okay, I think. We covered all the basics. The real question is, how do we win the match? I mean, gambling is ultimately luck, isn't it? Yes, but only to a degree. Letting that luck live or killing it takes skill. Whether we can win or not depends on your match. Strategy is the key to be more precise. Mm, I guess we're in some fun times. If strategy is what you're worried about, you'll be fine. My husband is a total amateur. He's terrible at lying. Every thought that crosses his mind is written on his face plain as day. He's not normally the kind of person well suited to gambling. Not really? Hearing that makes me feel a little bit more confident, maybe. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah, that's the spirit. Knowing the game is important, sure, but having the drive to get in there and win is what really brings it home. Kind of sounds like we're just gonna be able to. We're gonna have to read this poker face and, and cheat. I mean, you're corner, you guys. Now get up there and knock my husband down a few pegs. There will be no pegs involved. Thank you, man. Anyway, what a charming little casino. It's in Equipment looks brand new. Was this established recently? Yeah, we actually spent a lot of time here a bunch of episodes back. In a way, it just reopened after renovations during the birthday celebration. Hey, now that I think about it, it was being worked on last time. Mm, I see. So, where's our high rolling targets? Right, his wife said he'd be at the card tables. I'm pretty sure that would be him. Alright, come on, come on! Yeah, there it is, Jack! All this power on the draw, I feel invincible! It, it is your win, sir. Now that you fought well, my good man, I'm afraid you just had the wrong opponent. <laughs> oh, I don't like this man. Yeah, he's exactly as she said. That's gotta be him. Let's catch his attention quickly. If we waste time, no doubt he'll get wrapped up in another match. Alright. Okay, hit me again. No, oh, what's up with you guys? Well, we've heard uh, you know oh, your way around a card game, mister. So we'd like to challenge you. Challenge? Me? Alright, I'll bite. Question is, do you have the mirror? I'm not taking any cheap bets. The wager's a thousand mirror. How's that? Hey, that's a mighty fine wager. Fearless, aren't you? <laughs> fine, I'll take you guys on. Okay, so which one of you is going to be my opponent? Or maybe all three of you would have a piece of the fellow master at the same time. That works too. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, once is a bit crazy. We're not playing an old maid here. Come on, Shara. In that case, good customers, how would you like to try a variant of poker? 
There are, few, uh, there are a few that allow a match to be settled over several rounds. Sounds like just what we're looking for. I'll say, what are the rules? Both sides choose a lineup of contenders and sell the match over three rounds. Each round is normal poker and the first team to win one match wins. However, your team can only fold one time. If one team member folds, the rest have no choice but to challenge. And it's a rare three round match, huh? Simple, quick, elegant, I like it. So it's a, it's a best of three. The only problem is now that there's four of you. It's not like four of us need to play. Uh, one can sit this one out. That's perfect, actually. If I can, I like to be the one to sit out. You sure, Chloe? The students are forbidden to gamble by school rules. I don't want you to think I'm trying to skip out on the job, but it's kind of awkward for me. <laughs> nah, I get what you're coming from. Gambling's not exactly a healthy part of your daily balance school curriculum. You can handle it from here, so take a load off. Sorry for the mix-up. And then there were three. We're well on the road to a climactic three-round match. Not that it would matter if there were even four, f even five matches. I'd win them all anyway. Are you satisfied with the rules as I explain them? Yeah, I'm okay with them. Yes, we're fine too. Well then, allow me a few moments to make preparations. During that time, good guests, please decide the order of your matches. Order? So who's gonna go first and stuff? That shouldn't take us too long. Thank you very much. I'm ready whenever you guys are. Alright, order time. How do we want to do this? Might I suggest we pick based on our gambling prowess? Full disclosure, guys, I have like zero confidence in my card skills. I always, always lost to Joshua. Oh, but I bet you're pretty confident, right, Shara? You use cards a lot in fortune telling, so I can picture you knowing a thing or two about gambling. Yes, I know a little. I've also got an ace up my sleeve for the worst case scenario, too. I would love to see how this plays out with uh, Agate in your party. An ace? <laughs> it's a secret unless we need it. You're gonna cheat. Then I believe we'll have Shara take up the final step. Should good fortune fail us, we'll certainly be in need of a little bit of extra luck. That being said, I would prefer to take up the middle. The second match will likely require a great deal of strategy, and I have some confidence in my card game. So, you're second, Olivier, and Shara's last, which means I'm first. Yes, that should be relatively easy on you. Enjoy the hand without any pressure. Yes, yeah, so you say, but I'm still feeling it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. Alright, we're up. <gasps> Poker face is on, comrades. Good luck, you guys. Yeah, let's win this thing! Can't read my, can't read my, no we can read my poker face. This marks the first of three rounds. He's got him like nobody. Standard rules, there's a hierarchy among suits, the strongest spade, followed by hearts, diamonds, and clubs. Now begin dealing your cards. Can't read my, can't read my. Yay, got a pair. Eh, not bad. You can go for a flush, but that's kind of risky. Oh, my lucky streak strikes again. My first time I already got a great hand. Man, I got this in the bag. You must have an impressive hand. If that were truly the case, I can assure you he'd be much quieter about it. Yeah, um, rule of poker. People who have, um, have good hands usually quiet down so that you don't catch on to it. But people that have bad hands try to make a big fuss so that you fold. Remember, you can't challenge an opponent who chooses to fold. Here's hoping our girl recognizes that. Thanks for the comments. I know how to play this game. I need to think real hard about this. Should I swap out for a shot of big hand or keep an easy one? Um, uh, let's swap. Still first match. The theory is uh, to go for the sure thing. Yeah. Would you like to change cards? Yeah, three cards. Sir, so, I'll change three. Good cards. Crap. Well, we wouldn't have gotten the, the flush. No change, huh? I got a pair, so at least I'm okay hand. You're so obvious, Estelle. Doubt he could read her the way he, we can, but one can never be too careful. Uh, if things go sour, I'm sure I'll be plain as day. I heard she was bad at this understatement of the century. Did I do the wrong thing? Yes, fell right into my head when I was waiting. Come, good charger. Come at me any time. His behavior is no surprise. I wonder how confident he really is. I've got a pair, but it's up to his hand if I win or not. Should I fold or challenge him head on? Head on, apply directives to four. 
that's a good question. I mean, like, on one hand... On one hand, like... You know... If we fold here, then... It could just lead to... Oliver, uh... Getting the, the good one. But if we challenge him... I think if we did the other thing, we would have been forced to fold. And it's kind of letting me know that... Um... Because we would have gotten garbage. Uh, if... But, it, uh... What am I saying? It was kind of leading me on that he has a terrible hand also. Because he had to draw three. And I'm pretty sure I'm overthinking this. But, I don't know, it kind of seems... That uh, it's leading me, leading me to um, to uh, challenge him. So if I challenge and he folds, then it's going to be on to it's going to be on to. Um, What's it called? Thing. I don't know. Let's challenge. It kind of seems like it was it was going badly. Fold? I mean, I lost. Couldn't do that for anything. <laughs> would you like to challenge? Yeah, I think we would have we would have had to fold if we had chosen the other thing. Of course I am. Duh. Huh? Are you sure? I got really really great hands. So. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. If it's that good, why don't you hurry up and bring it on? What will you do, sir? What do I do? Uh, I could win with this hand if I challenge, but... Mm, nah, I'll fold. That's so I'm afraid you can no longer fold starting with the next round. So we're gonna... I don't think uh, Olivier is gonna do badly, but... Um, we'll have to say, good work out there. Took a strong stance and it paid off. Yeah, I'm just glad I didn't lose. What you did was more than winning. Your opponent, our opponent, is now concerned. Oh, I almost forgot. You can only fold once. <laughs> exactly, we won the first match. But it only takes one win from him for us to lose the bet. Agreed. We have to proceed carefully. Sirs, are you prepared for the next match? No, that's my cue. My lady, may Lady Luck favor me with her grace. We're counting on you. After all the talking you did, I'm so not gonna go easy on you if you lose. I will now uh, begin dealing your cards. Okay, we got a single pair. My only a pair of fours. A rather uninspiring hand. Eh? Rather uninspiring thing. Oh god, he's quiet. He seems kind of hesitant. Yeah, his expression is different. We should probably assume he's got a pretty good hand. Oh boy. Now what to do? Should I reach my hand out or distract my foe? <laughs> Either would make it would make for a worthy spectacle. Exchange all cards, leaving exchange one card, leaving the pair. Uh, does it matter? Oh, let's exchange one card. Let's play the game of deception. Gotta try to psych him out again. Will you be changing cards? One card only, please. You, sir? I'll take two cards. Hmm. Now, how did it turn out? Crap. <laughs> no, change my hand then. In that case, the rest is up to my foe. I can't read his face at all. What the heck are you thinking, all, Olivier? Surprisingly strong poker face, doesn't he? Alright. Yeah, I'm okay. That's a very strange reaction compared to before. He did he make a big hand? It's gonna force me to fold, isn't it? Quite a way the way he's quieted down is quite disturbing. Huh, now then what should I do? I guess we'll fold. The foe's already folded once, so he'll have to challenge this time. 
It's dangerous to corner an already wounded beast. Will you challenge? And now I'll fold. It takes cunning to know when to retreat becomes a more respectable strategy. <laughs> Folded, did you? Oh, you seem quite disappointed. And if I wasted a good hand of yours, then may you have my most heartfelt apologies. No, nothing like that. I didn't have much of a hand either. Yeah, it's the next round either side will be able to fold. Of course. Would you look at that? He folded. Probably figured out the odds were in Felia's favor. I've returned to my loves. <laughs> did you see my calm, expert assessment of the situation was flawless? But did Felia really have a good hand? If he challenged, he might have won. I'd say it was almost certainly that he had a much stronger hand than mine. Me thinks if I had challenged, I'd be suing the Sea of Tears by now. <laughs> Don't you think that's a wee bit dramatic? Now that both sides have folded, neither of us can back down in the final round. Yes, exactly. We'll be settling this cleanly in the next match. Next is Shira's turn, huh? Cool, I got a hunch that things will work out just fine. Hopefully. We'll see if Idios is in a generous mood. We're gonna cheat. You ready for your final match? The curtain rises. Well then, Shira, let's see what you can do. I'll try not to disappoint. We're gonna cheat. You are both prepared, I hope. We will now begin the final match. Ah, we have... Not good. It turned out like this, did it? Is it trying to tell me to chase a better hand? No. How's my opponent looking? Huh? Here. Could it be? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it, really. Oh, what a cruddy hand. Oh, man, I'm done for. <laughs> he's changed his tune. Yeah, he's acting like he's got a good hand. Now, how will you proceed in turn, Cheryl? One look at his clear fellow's got a big hand. In that case, a normal hand stands a high chance of losing. Should I go for broke and pursue a straight flush, I wonder? Uh... Yes. Yes, we're gonna have to swap, exchange everything but the spades. Would you change cards? Two cards, please. And you? One card, please. Oh. How did it turn out? Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, that was a good draw. I just need one more card. I just have to pray my fingers haven't lost the sense. Are we cheating? Do you have your cards? If you would, please show your hands. Alright, I'll show first. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Come on, please. Oh my god. Uh, that's a straight flush. Hearts. It's a royal straight flush. Oh my god. <laughs> royal straight. You're right, it is royal. What am I talking about? <sighs> Sunninger, isn't that the strongest hand? It'll be hard to win against that hand. Hmm. Please show your hand as well, miss. The conclusion of the match is never known until the last card is on the table. Indeed. <sighs> if I had done the other one it, and not gone for the royal straight flush, I don't think I would have been able to exchange enough cards for it. Huh. Showing your cards would help. Now it's when I have the best hand a guy could ask for. Oh, is that really so? <laughs> huh? What is it? Just now, wasn't Shara's hand... Sorry, I think it was my imagination. <laughs> she used her... magic power. Certainly. I believe this game is a strong and weak suits, yes? Then I'm afraid we can't call your hand the greatest yet. <laughs> My hand is the same a royal flush. However, the Queen of Spades, it seems, has smiled on me. No way! It certainly is decisive. Uh, but you have spades. In that case, your hand trumps Velio's. You're kidding! This match is yours, miss. <laughs> My goodness. Please check your wager. 2,000 Mira. I don't know what, how, but we won. I can't believe it. Oh, what a splendid turn of events. Sure, great work. I can't believe you turned that around. You're the best. <laughs> Good show. It's been a while since I was that nervous. <laughs> nervous? Uh. 
Yeah, first time? No, I've been nervous before. I'm just glad I didn't stumble all over myself. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, it's complicated. Huh? Wait a sec. No way! Oh, didn't you realize? I thought you and Olivier had seen through it. I can't believe you! You! No wonder something was off! You know how it goes sometimes it takes a thief to catch a thief. Alright, let's go report the the to the client. I don't think they noticed, but it's probably best if we don't linger. Works for me. Let's go give Lakeisha the good news. Lakeisha. E really? You beat my husband? Yeah, it was rough, we took, but we took him down. Here's your wager. Thousand mirrors doubled after our win. Ah, oh, that's fine, you can have that. Think of it as making up for how cheap the job pay was. Huh, are you sure? I mean, I'm grateful, but, you know, are you sure what we did is enough? I don't know if your husband will learn his lesson just because he lost against us. Even if he doesn't, I'm sure the casino will finish the job. They're professionals in their own right, after all. There's no way they'll let my husband keep on winning on this winning streak of his. That's a good point. If that's the case, we'll be moving along. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. You've done more than enough. I'm amazed you took a bizarre quest like this as seriously as you did, but you guys have been true professionals. You've done the Bracer Guild's reputation justice in my eyes. <laughs> Thanks. We're just doing our job, but it feels awfully good to hear you say that. If anything else happens, I'll be sure to look you guys up. Yes, we'll be here anytime you need it. Recruiting Great Gambles is completed. Hooray! Let's go turn these in and get on an airship. Hey, buddy. Uh, Great Gamblers, 2PP, 2000 Mira. Hooray! Action Office Assault. <coughs> oh, we don't get any extra BP for that? That's kind of sad. Also, we didn't get any higher in rank either. That's also kind of sad. Uh... It's a landing port. I know the episode's been going on for a little bit, but let's let's at least get ourselves over to the ice. Here, the group braces hang for ice, yeah? Uh huh, that's right. Got word from John. The guild's already paid your fares. Would you like to check in now, or? Yeah, we've done everything we want to in Ruan. Uh, right. No, I'm just gonna. Quickly check the shops in case for some reason they're like, Hey, yeah, this is an episode of the news, senpai. Hey, have you heard the news? No, I already have that. Okay. Hey, have you heard the news? Has the news been around by the man and butcher pee? Got a bit of paperwork, sure. No problems, it looks like. Feel free to make use of the port until the next flight arrives. Yay! He's hacking and whacking and smacking. He's hacking and whacking and smacking. He's hacking and whacking and chopping me. I think Kevin's gonna follow us. Alrighty then, off we go! Yeah, let's. Hey, what is that? Hey, it's the kids! That's why you couldn't get through to them. The kids! What are you all doing here? Keep me say bye-bye. Man, you guys are cold. Just take it off without saying anything to us. You guys are meany faces, the worst kind. Miss Chloe, why do you have to go? Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I was going to say goodbye, but we thought you were all out. I get it. They're out coming to Ruan. I feel kind of silly now. Hang on, though. That means Major Teresa's. I'm glad we made, seem, we made it in time. Hey, there you are. Aw, and... Aw, everybody. Major Teresa, even Chill and Hans came. <laughs> well, duh. Like we've missed this. We cut it kind of close, though. This thing's the fact that you wanted to wait till the last second to keep it a surprise, Jill. Hey, all's well that ends well, right? Actually, it was Jill who let us know you were leaving. I thought it'd be nice if we could see you all. Yeah, you pay no mind to the old man in the corner. Oh, sir. Hey, Estelle, I heard that Joshua ran away from home. Oh, um... Major Teresa told us what happened. I see. 
I'm sorry, I should have told you all. No, it's okay. Um, we'll pray that Joshua comes home real soon. We'll pray to ideas every day. Promise. I'll pray too. Oh, it'll come true if we all do. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Children, thank you. I'll throw my prayers into the pile too. Estelle, Chloe, you two be careful, okay? You do need to try your best, but don't overdo it and put yourself in danger. If something happens to you, I, I don't think I'd ever forgive myself. Chill, Hans. Yeah, I'll remember that. Estelle, please look after Chloe. I know she seems strong, but she's still a little fragile in some ways. Matron, I'm right here, you know. <laughs> Leave her to me. I am kind of suspect she's going to be helping us out more than anything, though. Well, Chloe, use this as a chance to examine yourself and your desires. Don't fret, simply look for the answer you've been seeking. Yes, I will, I promise. Gracious and students, both aspire to the path of knowledge in their own ways. You two have grown immensely in the short amount of time you've been here. Always remember, you will never run out of things to learn. Do not become so overconfident that you forget to learn. If you remember that, there is no obstacle in the world that can defeat you. Well, remember, yes, sir. This is the final boarding call for the Cecilia bound for Zeiss. All remaining passengers should embark now. Uh, whoop. See you guys when we'll back, I promise. Everyone take care. Be careful, guys. You better come back with some great stories and bring Joshua back with you. That's sweet. Airliner Cecilia, you break in my heart. Yes, ma'am, we're already spoken to the central factory. We just have a contract to move ordnance. Simon, you made sure to secure your ordnance, yes? We must make sure those ducks are all in a row before Imperial traders start arriving. One may be excited about their mayor mayoral election, but. Okay, so Zeiss, you know, the place we're heading to now doesn't even have a mayor. Instead, the head of the central factory fulfills the mayoral duties for the city and the region. Perfect system for an industrial city like that, if you ask me. Yeah. Much easier for them. Who cares about moving stairs? I want to say hot springs! There, it's like one huge bath! Oh, right, that's where the Elmo stuff is. Oh, this sucks. You can't see less than fortress from here. I guess they wouldn't let a passenger ship near the airspace, though, would they? No, no, that's enough running around. You're bothering the other passengers. I heard Zeiss of stairs that move! Moving stairs! I wanna ride them! I wanna ride them! Well, we're gonna have a chat with Chloe, I think, in the next episode before this episode gets too long, so thank you very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Till Before with uh, Legend Heroes Shows in the Sky, second chapter for Much Games. Next time, heading to chapter two for real. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye!